Hi everybody, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to access the Teams app. Now the Microsoft 365 Teams app is one of the ones you're going to use most frequently in your time as an online student at Cape Breton University. This app is going to be used by a lot of your professors to host online live classes. You can also use it to meet up with your classmates and work collaboratively on group projects or just to generally uh, use your own team spaces to keep your group projects organized and to collaborate either in real time or even asynchronously with your classmates. Now there are two ways that you can access the Microsoft Teams app. The first way to access the app is to get the desktop version. You can access that with this link right here from the Student Readiness Learning Experience course. So if we open this up, you'll see that there are two options. You can download the desktop app or you can get the mobile version. The desktop app is strongly recommended uh, to be installed for accessing your live classes. A lot of the functionality that you're going to use in your live classes, like screen sharing, getting to the chats area, ra even uh, the raise your hand function, works best if you're using the desktop version. The mobile app version is great for chatting with your classmates. Even during your live meetings, you could use your mobile to conduct a chat so you don't have to take your focus off of what's going on on the screen during your live meetings. Uh, it's also a great way to keep in touch with your classmates while you're not sitting in front of your computer. Now, the other way that you can access your Teams meetings and your class team spaces is by using the online version. It's recommended that you use Google Chrome if you are going to use the online, the web-based version of Microsoft Office Teams. A lot of the functionality for your Teams meetings will not work if you're using another browser like Internet Explorer or uh, Edge or Safari or Opera or even Firefox. So it's recommended that you use Chrome. You can simply click on this second link here and it's going to open up a page that looks like this. Now, you don't need to use the sign up for free. You've already got an account that will access this for you. You just need to use your Cape Breton University email address and your login password. So you click on this link here. It's going to ask you to log in. Now, I'm already logged in, but you would use your at cbu.ca email address and you would use uh, your same password that you use to log into Moodle. 